This is Alim from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2014. In this video I will show you how easy it is to change your design intent using the new functionality from SOLIDWORKS 2014 when um, you have to do some really radical changes. It's not just a simple change of a sketch or some dimensions but actually uh, I'm gonna change completely the type of features that I'm using in the beginning of, uh, of the feature tree. Uh, this example is uh, taken from the Essentials uh, Manual. Those of you who took the course would find it familiar. You remember um, it's an exercise that students have to build after they learn how to, do, how to use the Revolve feature. So in this uh, case, uh, the student actually um, was afraid to, to go outside his uh, uh, comfort zone, so he used the Boss Extrude feature. So notice he did here an extrusion with a draft. And after that, using the layer cake approach, he added another uh, boss extrude. And just at the end, he actually did a revolve uh, to finish the body of this uh, tool post. Uh, this is not what I want. Actually, I would like the whole thing to be done with a simple revolve command. So let's try to create a sketch right now, uh, trying to capture his uh, outline, because I don't want to, to recreate this. So I'm going to pick up the front plane. And uh, one quick way of doing this is by using the intersection curve. So uh, if I'm using the intersection curve between this front plane and these faces, let's see what we get. Notice the, the overall... Uh, it, it's like doing a convert entities in uh, no time at all. And uh, also I'm just going to remove uh, some of this... Uh, um, uh, some of these uh, results. I'm going to draw a center line and I'm going to do a little bit of trimming. So I'm going to get rid of the areas that I don't really want. So really the sketch now is very similar to a convert entity uh, command. So let's uh, save this sketch. This is going to be the sketch uh, used for the final revolve. Let's come back to the present and let's delete these three features. Remembering I want to delete them and also their sketches without really deleting all the, their children. Um, in order to see which one are the sketches, maybe it would be a good idea to take advantage of the functionality introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013 in order to see the feature tree in, uh, in the historical manner. So I'm going to use this show flat tree view. So the sketches are just going to be shown in the tree at the moment of their creation, which obviously is before creating the features. So let me delete this post extrude one. And uh, what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2014 is the ability to actually select what you want to delete. So I'm going to delete this absorb uh, feature, which is going to be uh, this, uh, the sketch used for this feature. But also I'm going to select what I want to delete. So I'm not going to delete everything. I'm going to delete obviously sketch 6, which will get rid of the boss extrude 2, which, which is this one, and sketch 7, which is going to get rid of this revolve, and, uh, and nothing else. Let's click OK or Yes. And as you can see, uh, nothing else get, got deleted, and uh, let's keep going. So I'm just going to go back again in time after I created this sketch 8. I'm just going to edit it. And I'm going to ask SOLIDWORKS to delete all the dangling dimension, uh, relations. So I'm going to delete all these dangling relations. And um, maybe take advantage of the full, fully defined sketch option. It's too bad uh, my resolution doesn't allow me to show you where this is in the um, right mouse button menu. But you're going to find here an option for fully defined sketch. And let's start by applying only the relations. So if something is horizontal or vertical I, or tangencies or whatever, I want that to be applied automatically. So calculate. And as you can see, quite a lot of relations have been applied automatically. Uh, so the circle is, is now coincident. The center of the circle is coincident here. Uh, this is uh, vertical. This is horizontal and so on and so forth. Let's uh, run this one more time. I, I could have run it in one, uh, in one go. Um, but I just wanted to show you the actually what uh, what actually happens. So this time I'm going to add the relations uh, dimensions. So uh, let's say I'm going to dimension everything based on uh, horizontally from this line and uh, vertically from uh, maybe from this line. So add all the dimensions, and as you can see, this is fully defined. Um, it's time to do my revolve. 
this, uh, as you can see, it's it's open. And SolidWorks is asking me if I want to close it. I'm going to say yes. And the revolve body has been created. Now let's go back to closer to the present. And it looks like this sketch number two is crying because it had some relations that have been applied to in regards to the old um, entities that are not there anymore. So for example, this line looks like it wanted to be collinear with something. So let me try to reattach this relation to this silhouette edge. So it worked pretty nicely. Now I have a bunch of coincident relations that also have to be uh, reattached. So I'm going to try to attach this to this edge. I'm going to try to attach this to... Here actually I have two relations, so I have to get rid of one of them. So I'm going to try to reattach this to, I don't know, let's say this edge. Or even better, let's delete it completely. And I'm just going to get this point and attach it to this intersection point if possible. If not, let's see. So I got it uh, to that point. It looks like I couldn't get it. So I'm just going to go to the intersection of these two lines. And uh, there you go. I believe this is pretty much it. If I just go save, the sketch doesn't have any errors anymore. One step closer to the present, the cut extrude works. One step closer to the present, the mirror works, so the flats have been created. Let's go to sketch number three, which complains again. So let's edit it. I'm going to go normal too. And again, let's uh, update this uh, dangling dimensions and relations. So I have this dimension that now has to go to this edge. I have this dimension that now has to go to this edge. I have this collinear relation. Bit, uh, let's select this line and I'm going to go to this edge now. So very handy this uh, reattachment. Uh, let's see what this one is complaining about. Looks like I wasn't able to attach this properly. Let's try one more time. No, it's okay. And I have one more coincident relation here that is complaining. I'm just going to drag it to this end. And if I'm looking for display delete relations and filter by dangling relations, there are none left. So this is fine. So uh, let's come back one, one step closer to the present. And that sketch was used for another cut revolve. And uh, coming all the way to the present, looks like everything is fine. Um, only one of the equations that was used before is crying. So I'm just going to delete it. I don't need it anymore. As you can see, in no time at all, I was able to do something really, really complex. I deleted three features without deleting their children. And in no time at all, I was able to reattach uh, all the relations. I hope you like it and uh, you're going to enjoy using SOLIDWORKS 2014.